It is finally back. I can finally say the words, welcome back to another Seattle Seahawks franchise. This time, the Seahawks are traveling to Foxborough, Massachusetts to face off against the New England Patriots. Both teams come to this game as kind of the best teams in the NFL, I guess, if you want to say that a 5-3 and three record for the New England Patriots is the best and elite, you can go ahead and say that. Well, the Seahawks, on the other hand, they're undefeated, but they will be without their stout of a safety, Cam Chancellor. Whereas, the Patriots will be without Julian Edelman. So we'll see how they fare, but they have one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Probably the best quarterback of all time. Considering the 20... Man, I have not made a video since the Super Bowl. Oh my goodness. You guys believe that 28-3 lead that the Falcons blew? Well... Sherman blew this coverage on Johnson, and he's going to take this one all the way to the 8-yard line. 69-yard pass reception for Johnson. And this one is going to be Tom Brady dropping back. He's going to find Johnson again, and Johnson picks up almost all the yardage on that. Whole entire drive. Patriots score quickly as they take a quick 7-0 lead. So quick start for the Patriots. Just to let you guys know, it is on all Madden from here on out. So this game was the beginning of something where all Madden is going to happen every single game from here on out because I was tired of the competition being so easy. Had to up it up. Up it a little bit. Wilson, 21 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. So both Tom Brady and Wilson are having great seasons and fighting for those MVP spots. So both will be in the MVP consideration at the end of the year as Russell Wilson would like to outmatch Tom Brady today. This one's thrown to Doug Baldwin. He makes the catch, and he's going to take it all the way to the 39 of New England. Wilson dropping back to pass once more. He finds Baldwin again, moving it out to the 21. Second and 10 now. Wilson, you run in the read option, handing off to Thomas Rawls, and Rawls will take it for about nine yards. Turbin, or excuse me, Michaels in the backfield. He cannot get the first down. He was close to getting it. Doesn't get the first down. Seahawks settle for three. 7-3, Michael Bennett gets off the right tackle, goes ahead and tackles Tom Brady inside his own 10, all the way to his own 5. Doug Baldwin's going to make the catch here. I'm just talking about the previous play, something I do a lot in my franchise. And Doug Baldwin is going to take this one for 59 yards into the end zone for a touchdown. The Seahawks will take the lead as they definitely want to beat out these New England Patriots. Definitely a rival as of late. And this has always been a good matchup. I mean, the Super Bowl is a great matchup. Seahawks definitely lost it in Super Bowl 49, but they want to avenge that defeat here today. They're doing a decent job thus far as we're about almost a quarter in. Brady throws right side. He doesn't find anyone. He finds, I guess, the sideline reporter. It's incomplete. Seahawks start on their own 20. First and 10. Graham is the one making the reception. He is going to try and get through a defender. Doesn't even get close to trucking him or going through him. Defender tackles him easily but we move to a third and 12 wilson rolls out to his right he's looking for the first he is tackled just short of it one yard short seahawks punt it away tom brady third and 11 rolls out to his left he's gonna throw off his back foot throws it and he finds amandola and amandola will take it to the 36 of seattle now on the 18 seven minutes 50 seconds left here in the second quarter Running back gets it. I think that's what happened. I did not watch the play. I was just watching scoreboard. Well, this scoreboard is going to go up a little bit for the Patriots. They move it to 10-10. Tie ball game. Graham makes the reception. He's going to take it to the 36-yard line, picking up the first down. 37, excuse me. Now on our own 37, Rawls has sees a bunch of room to run with. He will take it into New England territory. Now on the 46, play action. Wilson has time to throw. He's going to find Baldwin again. Kind of throws it into the middle of the field. If he could have threw it a little bit outside, he might be taking that one for six. Regardless, the play is continuing for Seattle. They move it into the to the red zone. Now on the four, Wilson dropping back. He's going to go ahead and run it himself into the end zone, and the Seahawks will take a 17-10 lead. And just like that, Seahawks regain control. The invisible football for Russell Wilson. I guess he forgot he dropped it. He was just kind of showing some cool celebration. I've never seen it before, but... Hey, he dropped it. He just kind of wanted to fake out the crowd. I don't know, man. Who knows what's going on with this game? Third and two now. Lewis makes the catch. Takes it into Seattle Terry territory on the 46 of Seattle. Now Brady throws right side. He finds Hogan. Hogan makes the catch. He is going to get through Sherman for about five extra yards. Seahawks are trying to stop him here on defense. Don't want to give up anything here in this second in this first half to end it. But we'll see. Second and eight, 52 seconds left. Wilson, or Brady, throws it to Lewis. He jukes out Jeremy Lane on the one-yard line. First and goal. 
Lewis gets it, and this game is tied once more. So we're having a great primetime matchup. It's been a long time since I've done any game, any type of commentary, but this time it's in primetime. Finally, I'm back. Who knows how long, but let's hope this time I am at least finishing out the season for Madden 17. That is my goal for you guys before Madden 18. Hope Madden 18 is great. And as you can see, I'm talking about some positives right here because we just got sacked two times in a row. And that ain't good for the Seahawks. They start off really well in the first half, did a good job, but all of a sudden it just went south. Man, you have a sour taste in your mouth. You had a good first half, you're tied with the world champs. Well, not in the past season, but you guys get what I mean. Wilson's running the play action to start out this second half. This one's going to be thrown to Doug Baldwin. Just kidding. It's going to be intercepted by Malcolm Butler. <sighs> it wouldn't be a game. Oh, I'm not saying that. Ah, I'm not going to say that, all right? But Malcolm Butler picks off Russell Wilson. You guys can win. Go ahead and battle in the comments if you want to. Brady's dropping back here, throwing to Amendola. He's going to take it into Seattle territory, moving to the 42. Brady's dropping back to pass once more. I'm using Wagner and just watching Hogan run right in front of me as he picks up nine yards. Third and one now. Wagner's this time. I did the job correctly. I slammed. All right. I mean, Bobby Wagner absolutely demolishes Lewis to stop him from going any further, but they settle for three points. They're in the lead again. 20-17 to 17 football game now. Jimmy Graham's making the catch on the left side. He's going to take this one into New England territory. Now on the 37. We're going to run another play action. Seems like we do that all the time because that's just my favorite thing to do with Russell Wilson. He does it so well, and he is just a premier quarterback in this league. Throws a great pass to Curse, I believe. Rawls going to run this one up the middle, and the Seahawks retake control. This game is shifting back and forth. I want to say there's about been three or four lead changes. This game is competitive. This is what we like to see, everybody. Seahawks, Patriots battling out here in primetime Sunday night football with a commentator that knows what he's doing, I think. First and 10, Brady is going to be sacked by Bobby Wagner. They lose seven yards. Now on their own 24, Brady's going to throw this one to Lewis. Lewis takes it not very far, and the Seahawks get the ball back. Can they take a two-possession lead? We'll see. Wilson rolls out to his right. He has a few men open, decides to take it himself, and he's going to move it to about the 36-yard line. Another new set of downs here. Third and five, Wilson throws right side. Curse tries to make the catch. A great play by the defender. Here comes John Ryan on to kick this ball as he is going to be blocked by the Patriots defender. The Patriots pick it up. Freeney falls down. It could have been 27-24 with just a few slow steps. Could have made this game a three-point game. But Lewis gets the opportunity, and he's going to take the opportunity in his own hands. And the Patriots take the lead. It's 27-24 with the third quarter dwindling down. Thomas tried to make a tackle right at the end of the play. He can't do so successfully. 30 seconds left. Wilson's throwing left side. He finds Curse. Oh, he tried to juggle the ball. Almost had a similar catch in Super Bowl 49. <sighs> Let's not bring that game up. All right, Jermaine Curse makes the catch. He's going to take it for a first down to start off the first fourth quarter. Seahawks will have a new set of downs. This game's back and forth. 27-24 on their own 46. Lockett makes the catch. Picks up about seven. Now on the 47, Rawls gets the handoff. And Rawls sees a bunch of open space. And Thomas Rawls will take it for 47 yards into the end zone. And just like that, the Seahawks retake control of this game. As they now lead it 31 to 27. Would you look at that? Thomas Rawls being mini beast in this game. He takes it for 47 yards. Touchdown Seahawks. 31-27 ball game now. Tom Brady's trying to get his team back in control of that lead. And well, they can't. But they're going to go for it here on a fourth and two. On their own 49. Risky decision by Belichick and it does not pay off. Seahawks been keeping Lewis in check. He has 24 rushes for 45 yards. What a day by the Seahawks defenders. Seahawks on their own on the 47 of New England. They pick up about 12 on that run. Oh gosh, Pro Size is not looking for the football, but the Seahawks do settle for three points. 34 27 ball game. This is one touchdown away from being tied. Can the Patriots do something on this possession? 752 left. Bennett gets off the edge again. He picks up another sack. Third and 24. Tom Brady running the play action. He has plenty of time to throw. He sees some defenders. He's going to go ahead and launch this deep. Can Earl Thomas pick it off? No, he doesn't, but he does save a first down and a huge chunk of change. 
First and 10 now. Wilson's going to roll out to the right. He's going to take it himself and take it into New England territory. Thankfully, he slid into the ground because for some reason he fumbles the ball every single time he runs in this football game, which is weird because he doesn't do that much in real life. Pretty sure he doesn't do that much in real life, but I don't know. It's been a long time since football has been back. I'm glad I have it back here on this channel. Stop rambling, Jacob. Go back into the game. All right, I will. Here we are back in the game. Thomas Rawls picks up a first down, moving into Patriots territory. In the red zone, play action. Wilson throws Tyler Lockett, and the Seahawks are running away with this one. They make it a 41-27 game with over a little over three minutes left in this football game. Can they defeat the Patriots in Foxborough? That was right in front of Malcolm Butler. It's a little bit of revenge, I guess. I know it's not. This is a regular season game, not the Super Bowl. Man, I'm so sad. No, I'm just playing. All right, we're going back into this. 2-10 left here in this football game. Third and two, Wilson throws right. Once again, I said Wilson is Brady. Yes, Brady and Wilson keep trading spots for some reason. I don't know why I keep sell or trading Wilson to the other side, but I just keep doing it. Brady here this time. Second and one. They're, they're going to go ahead and throw it on a second and one. Why aren't they running the ball? I don't know. On the 42 now of Seattle. Oh, yeah, they're down by two possessions. All right, 41-27 football game. I could talk about a lot of things because Tom Brady could go ahead and set up a campsite, but he doesn't do a good job of getting the ball to one of his receivers, and the Seahawks pick it off. Richard Sherman right in front of the wide receiver. We tried to play defender, did a decent job, but couldn't do so successfully. Thomas Rawls gets the ball handoff. Oh, well, it doesn't do anything with it, loses about a yard. Now in her own 13, Rawls gets it again. He takes this one a little bit extra chunk of change there. Picks up eight yards. Moving it now to our own 21. Can we get a first down? No, we cannot. He is just short. Now on, our, on the Patriots come back out on their own 32. Throwing it third and 10. Oh, my goodness. Rob Gronkowski is going to take this one all the way into the end zone for a 68-yard touchdown. The Gronk spike is in full effect here today. The Seahawks were just shutting down the Patriots here in this fourth quarter. And they give up a touchdown. They're down by a possession with, I think, 45 seconds left. What will happen on this onside kick? We will find out. 45 seconds left. Goskowski kicks it. It's juggled, but it's picked up by Paul Richardson. He's going to take it to about the 31 or 33. And that does it for this football game. The Seahawks defeat the Patriots. And they are now undefeated once more hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so thankful to be back here on youtube posting videos i hope you guys enjoyed if you could please give me a like i would really appreciate it my goal is to start posting more posting more content than just football because i'm not just about football i'm passionate about so many things and i want to bring that out to you guys i hope you enjoyed this commentary let me know your thoughts and opinions about this new all madden thank you for watching Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.